Hello mathematicians, today we are talking about numerical patterns. This again. Well grumpy kitty, this time we are generating and graphing additive patterns. Can't wait. The term numerical patterns is just fancy for a list of numbers created by a pattern rule. An additive pattern just means we are adding. Rules. I'm not a fan of those. Do you mean like brushing your teeth or not swimming after reading? Not quite grumpy kitty. Pattern rules are equations that relate two variables, like x and y. It tells us what to do to x to get our y. And this creates our table of numbers. Yes, we can use that rule to create a pattern table and also create a graph. Can you give me an example? Good idea. Let's try a problem together. First, we will create a table for the rule y equals x plus 2. This rule means that we will add 2 to the number under the x column to get the y column. Can you show me? Sure. If we have 1 in the x column, we add 2 to get the value of the y column, 3. Oh. So if I had 2 in the x column, I would add 2 to get a 4 in the y column. Good job Grumpy Kitty. Let's finish the table. Now that we have the table, how do we make the graph? Let's try it together Grumpy Kitty. The x coordinate corresponds to the horizontal line on the graph and the y coordinate to the vertical line. x is 1. I move to the left 1 and up to the 3 for the y coordinate. There we go. I can also plot 2 and 4, 3 and 5, and 4 and 6. Those are all the numbers on our table. But can we plot more? Sure we can. If the x coordinate is 6, we just add 2 to find the y coordinate. That would be 8, 6 and 8. We could also plot the x coordinate 8 and add 2 to see the y coordinate is 10. 8 and 10. Now I think I'm getting it. Keep practicing Grumpy Kitty and we will see you for the next video. Yeah, I'll check my calendar. I have a very busy schedule.